So I thought I would give you a quick little demonstration. Uh, this is SDR Uno, and there's a ton of controls here. But one of the coolest parts is that you can record um, anything that you receive. If you have a really fast computer, you can record up to 10 megahertz uh, with the particular SDR Play uh, software-defined radio that I have. And for RS-44, um, and to make sure I didn't drop anything, I only recorded 2 megahertz. And uh, because the passband of the satellite is so small, only about 60 kilohertz, um, we really don't even need 2 megahertz. But that's as low as I can go. And so I'll show you a, a few just little tidbits from this pass. We'll go ahead and start by listening to the beacon. Um, it's extremely simple. It just uh, gives RS-44. We'll, we'll go ahead and stop that. And you may have noticed that there was a little bit of Doppler shift, and that's because the position of the satellite is changing relative to me. Um, and it's more noticeable the higher the frequency. And anyway, so we're back again, and I've jumped ahead to a different spot in the past. And one thing I just wanted to point out is look at how many uh, conversations or QSOs are taking place. Um, so one of the the difficulties um, are just facts of life. If you listen to satellite pass in real time with one of these uh, linear transponders, which means multiple people can use it at the same time, you can realistically only listen to one at best at the same time. But if you record um, the raw data um, throughout the entire passband, you can go back and listen to any one of these that you want. Um, this is just something I've never really thought about. Um, I've had an SDR for quite a while, and I just want to uh, give you a little taste. Um, so initially, we have November 6 Romeo Foxtrot Mike N6 RFM, who's just finishing up a QSO, and as soon as he uh, gets done, he's he's going to say a QRZ, meaning who's the next station and KC7RW is going to come back to him. So let's give that a quick listen. And of course, one thing you'll notice is that immediately I have to start adjusting for Doppler shift every few seconds. Otherwise, you notice uh, that the voice doesn't state um, a constant pitch. Yeah, thanks a lot, Joe. Have a good day. Doorway 6 Radio, Florida, Mexico, QRZ. Charlie 7, Romeo Whiskey. Seven. Who's the Romeo Whiskey? Kilo Charlie 7, Romeo Whiskey. Kilo Charlie 7, Romeo Whiskey. Echo Mike 73. Yo, Kilo Charlie 7, Romeo Whiskey, Ryan. Thank you very much. Uh, 5 and 9, FS41. Go away. Go away, go Okay. <clears throat> and you might wonder um, what exactly that they're exchanging. What is this um, Foxtrot mic 41 and Echo mic 73? So because it's difficult to have an extended conversation on these satellites, um, instead of giving signal reports or anything of that matter, it's convention to give your location. And so in amateur radio, we have grid squares, just breaks up the entire globe. And... <clears throat> And so N6 RFM, he's located in FM 41, while KC 7 RW is located in Echo Mike 73. And it just goes on and on. As soon as he makes one contact, um, since N6 RFM seems to have this part of the, uh, the satellite's band, he just keeps it and he calls QRZ as soon as he's done. Um, anyway, this is just really cool. And... Maybe I'll find one more for us to listen to, but I hope that you are finding this interesting. So 
So we'll go ahead and take another um, pass at listening to a QSO. This one is with W5 CBF, Whiskey 5 Charlie Bravo Foxtrot. And after he calls for quite a while, um, I'm only going to let you hear just a couple calls. He's calling CQ, calling any station, and N3 CRT comes back to him. So let's give that a listen. Whiskey five, Charlie Baker, Fox up. Whiskey five, Charlie Baker, Fox up. You, 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 Then he goes on to make um, at least a couple more contacts. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Maybe it gives you a better idea on what maybe you can do uh, with software-defined radio and tuning into satellites. I'm still considering getting an ICOM 9700 and maybe working RS-44 and some of the other linear transponder satellites sometime soon. But before I do that, I think I need to figure out some type of portable satellite tracking. Um, it's just too much to try to multitask, literally, you know, using your hand to move the antenna and keep track of that and try to find someone or call CQ and return. It's, there's just a lot. So anyway, I'm currently evaluating a portable satellite tracking setup that's, that's quite portable. Anyway, 73s. Best regards.